Good day. Welcome to this week's edition of the Superintendent's Blog. Uh, today is Monday, October 17th, and I am Ross Renfro, Superintendent for Johnston County Public Schools, uh, coming to you with updates about school restarting tomorrow. A reminder to you all that uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, October 18th, we will be on a two-hour delay uh, for all students and staff as needed. Staff, if you need to take time in the morning to make sure you get to school safely, please uh, do so. If you can report without uh, being in harm's way, report at the regular time. I want to remind you all that uh, the concept of satellite stops uh, is a reality in Johnston County Public Schools, uh, not just for the mar tomorrow, but for the immediate future. And uh, the North Carolina Department of Transportation will determine how long we have to have satellite stops. Um, with regards to satellite stops, you know, some may be at the end of your road and you may have to walk 100 yards uh, or a couple hundred yards. Others, particularly in the southern end of the county, will be miles from your home. So uh, we know you can't walk and that your uh, parents or someone will have to get you to that bus stop. But please remember, safety first in all situations regarding any, any regular bus stop, but particularly as we talk about satellite stops. Uh, we have reached out to the Sheriff's Department and in the area of our satellite stops, there will be an increased uh, presence for law enforcement. And so we appreciate Sheriff Bizzle and his team for collaborating and working with us you know, as we endure uh, the satellite phase of getting folks to school safely uh, tomorrow and in the immediate foreseeable future. Uh, communication is uh, paramount in this. You know, our bus drivers are out knocking on doors today, calling parents and students, letting them know where the satellite stops are. Parents, you know as well as I do that if you don't feel good about this, you certainly have the leeway to bring your uh, student to school in the morning and pick them up in the afternoon. Uh, and if you have a need, please communicate that to us. I know there are several principals who said, if a parent just let me know that they can't get their student to school, I'll be glad to go and pick them up myself and get them there. So no need is too small or too big as we go with the restart of school. And as you superintendent, if you email me, I'll do my best to get them there too, uh, on the way to Smithfield or, or wherever. Um, as we talk about safety, just a reminder, a couple of parents have reached out to us uh, last week and, and today, why can't the bus go around a barricade? We will not circumvent any barricade uh, for the safety of our employees and for the safety of our students. That is a non-negotiable and it will not happen. So as long as the Department of Transportation has deemed a road unsafe, we will not be going around any barricades. And then lastly, you know, parents and students, uh, as you have needs, feel free to communicate those needs, not just with regards to transportation, but anything. Uh, we do have a hurricane relief fund uh, established, school supplies, clothing, whatever it is you need to be successful at school, please communicate this to your teachers, your school counselors, or your principals, and we will do everything in our power to put you back in that position to be successful at school. Uh, we'll update you later on this week with our current situation uh, as it pertains to school. Uh, right now, we do know that there are a handful of people without power in the district and still over 100 roads that have been closed by the Department of Transportation. So we ask for your patience, your presence of mind, and your understanding as we make the best out of a bad situation. Thank you all for all you do, and have a great day.